Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today we'll be taking a look at three hidden features that's a part of Samsung One UI 6.0 beta with Android 14. Now the first one that we're gonna cover is dealing with Android 14. This is that little hidden Easter egg that basically comes along with every single brand new Android version. And so this one is including a game with a starship and you basically have to find different galaxies or stars. So the first thing you wanna do is head inside of your settings and then you wanna hit on about phone. Now inside of about phone, you wanna hit on software information. Now on the screen here, all you have to do is tap on Android version a few times, and then it's gonna bring you to this screen here. And it looks as if you were out in space, you see stars. And so this is kind of almost looking a little bit like a little spaceship. So what you wanna do here is you wanna press and hold, it's gonna shake all the stars and everything is gonna go much, much quicker. And then when it finally gets into this screen here, you're able to let go. Now what you are trying to do here is find the little star or a cluster, and it's pretty much letting you know your position right here. So what you wanna do is put both of these numbers as close to zero as possible in order for you to find it. So if you swipe down, you can see here that looks as if I'm getting a little bit closer. So down is definitely the right move. And then we just gotta figure out, do we have to go right or do we have to go left? So it looks like we have to go down as well as left. So it looks as if it's a little bit more left than it is down. So I'm basically just gonna kind of do both of them and you can actually just keep your finger there. Then you're gonna see your velocity and how fast you're going. Now, the one thing is, is that when you get closer, you gotta make sure that you kind of, uh, you gotta kind of watch it a little bit. So here we go. We're gonna try to keep these numbers as close to zero as possible. So I do have to, oop, look at that, we found it. Looks as if we did find the little star, the little cluster. And then from here, you just kind of take a look at a few things. You can, I don't know, just kind of discover things. I guess it's something about bodies, zero of three. I don't really know exactly what that means, um, but here we are. It looks as if we are somewhere at least uh, because you can see here that we're very, very close to zero on everything. And then you can see the, the velocity of how fast you're going. So it's just one of those games that you can kind of just, you know, play around with, try to find whatever you're trying to find. I don't know if there's more than just one. I believe maybe every single time that you go inside of here, you're able to find a different star. So this one is called Morel Pi R, or also known as UDC 3714, I believe, class A, whatever. I don't know. This is just something that I think is pretty cool. All I really know is that you would want to try to position yourself all the way to zero on both of those. And then this way you'd be able to find whatever you are trying to find. Now heading into hidden feature number two, we're gonna talk about mobile hotspot. Now with mobile hotspot, there is two features in here that I wanna show you. One of them is brand spanking new. And then the other one is just one that maybe you've never played with or looked at or touched. So basically mobile hotspot is me allowing basically my service that I have, my mobile data to be shared with somebody else. So somebody else, maybe they have horrible service. Maybe you're at, you know, at a picnic, you're in the middle of a park, or maybe you're at the airport someone's phone is just not connecting right, or maybe you have a tablet or a laptop, whatever the case may be, and you wanna share your internet connection with them, so then this way you can actually get some work done or they can watch YouTube Kids. So what you can do here is if you actually tap on this band, uh, and on your phone, it may actually have the word configure. And when you hit on configure, it'll take you to the screen. On Samsung One UI 6.0, you just have to tap on it, it takes you here. So this band right here, that 2.4 gigahertz, this is a really good strength signal. So this is gonna give you that strength if they are further away from you. So if you're sitting at home with Wi-Fi and you're completely on the other end of the house of where the modem is, then basically you're gonna be on that 2.4 so you can actually have a pretty good signal. But if you are you know, right spanking right next to that person, you're sitting on them, you know, sitting next to them at the picnic table. Maybe you are just giving internet connection to your tablet or your work laptop, or they're sitting next to you at the airport. Just do five gigahertz. This is way, way faster. So this is one of those things that you can do that if they are complaining that the internet speed is not great, switch your band to five gigahertz. It's just one of those things that it is preferred to use five gigahertz. Um, just if you want to have those faster speeds. And then 2.4 is if you need that strength to make it go further. So if you wanna have faster internet speed or at least share faster internet speed, then click on that five gigahertz. Now moving on to the brand new feature, a part of Samsung One UI 6.0 beta with Android 14 is gonna be this feature right here. Now the phone that you're holding onto will probably end the screen there and this one is brand new, one-time password. So what's gonna happen is when you turn this on, it'll actually create a password that is temporary, which means that if they are using your hotspot currently, and then maybe later that day, 
or tomorrow when you turn on your mobile hotspot, they're not going to have the correct password. They would have to get the brand new password from you. So just a way you can share your password with guests to allow them to use your mobile hotspot temporarily. The next time you turn on mobile hotspot, the password will be reset. So now that I've turned this one on, and then I turn on my mobile hotspot. So now if somebody wanted to share it, or, or if I wanted to share my mobile hotspot with them, I can either just show them the QR code to get it connected, or I can just copy and paste this and send it over to them. And then this way they'd be able to use my hotspot. And then let's say the very next time that you turn this on, which I'm just gonna demonstrate here, I'm gonna reset my passcode. And so now you got a brand new passcode that they would have to use this to connect to your mobile hotspot. So I find this to kind of be ingenious because maybe somebody is wanting to use your hotspot for a second time without your approval, or maybe you let your neighbor use it really quick. And this way when you're not actually noticing or looking at it and you have your mobile hotspot on and you don't see how many devices are connected, it's just kind of a way that you can have something that's brand new. So then again, anytime you turn it on, they're not gonna connect it without you knowing. And then hidden feature number three is the ability of airplane mode to actually remember your inputs. So what I mean by this is when you turn on airplane mode, what it always does is it turns off your mobile data, it turns off your Bluetooth, and it turns off your Wi-Fi. Now what'll happen is let's say you hopped on that plane, you entered airplane mode, and then you turned on your Wi-Fi. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn this one on, and then once it's turned on, what's gonna happen is that the next time that you actually turn on your airplane mode, it's going to turn it on for you, or at least leave it on. So you can see here, we're not in airplane mode anymore. Mobile data is on, Bluetooth is on, and Wi-Fi is on. Now, if I was to go back inside of airplane mode, you can see that it remembered to keep that one on. So here we go. I'm going to turn on my Bluetooth as well, because again, maybe I wanted to connect and listen to music as I'm on the airplane. And so you can see right here, it's actually letting you know, uh, turned on Wi-Fi and it's basically going to keep it. So check this out. We are in airplane mode currently. Mobile data is off. Both of these right here are turned on. Now when I turn this off, what's gonna happen is when I, you know, I'm waiting my layover, I pop onto the next airplane, boom. Both of those will stay on so I don't have to turn them right back on again and mobile data is turned off. Now if you do want this to go back to normal, all you would have to do is if you turn these off while you're using airplane mode and then you turn this off, that will be the scenario it remembers. So now the next time that you go on an airplane and you turn on airplane mode, everything will stay turned off. So those were those three hidden features that I wanna show you that's a part of Samsung One UI 6.0 beta with Android 14. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you did, write those comments below the video inside the description. I can make more of these. I can make this into a series. I can find you three more hidden features that maybe you'll love and enjoy and find it to be helpful. But other than that, if you guys did appreciate it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.